Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video that you're seeing of me. My name is Taylor and I make content about digital illustration, tutorials, giving you guys my tips and tricks. If you don't know me from Instagram, I have an Instagram where I post a ton of digital illustration stuff, cute stuff. Well, I think it's cute. So if you want to follow me on there, feel free to do that. The link is in the description. But today I'm going to be showing you highly, highly requested content, which is how I draw eyes, how I do all the little details to make them look super realistic. And I'm using Adobe Draw for this. And also I always get questions about this. I use my iPhone and I use my finger. I don't have an iPad or an Apple Pencil. So I use free apps. Leave me some video requests down below. I respond to all my comments or you can DM me on Instagram and I respond to all my DMs as well. So hit me up on there if you want to chat. Let's just get right in to the eye tutorial. All right, y'all, here we are. Um, so the first thing that I'm starting off with is going to be drawing the pupil. So I'm just getting a black color, obviously, and I'm just doing like a little dot right where the pupil is. It takes me a few tries to like get it right, but eventually I get it. There we go. No, not that one. There we go. There we go. And now I'm going to take the tapered brush and a white color and I'm going to do like the little reflection that was on her eye, you know, to make it realistic, a little reflection moment. Okay. I'm going to like play around with that for a little bit, try to get it right. And there we go. Now I'm drawing the outline of like the iris of the eye with a white, just to separate the white part of the eye from the colored part, obviously. And I'm going to draw a white section where that white is, which is like the highlight of the white part of the eye. And then I'm going to fill that in with a tap like that. And then fill in another section on the other side. And now I'm just taking a gray color and I'm going to do like the shadow part of the eye so where it's not as bright white just to give it some dimension and to make it look realistic you got to put some gray shadows in there so that's like my biggest tip um or one of my biggest tips is to not just do the eye completely white that's something that I did for a long time and once I started doing like the gray shadows and doing actual like shadows and adding depth to the eyes it really just changed the whole look so number one tip pro tip from your girl take crumbs all right <laughs> so you can just watch me do this and I'll come back when I'm doing something else Okay, now that, that white shading part is done on the eye, I'm going to do the colored part. So I'm color matching and then making it just a little bit brighter than the normal color just because we want those eyes to pop, you know? So I'm just doing it a little bit brighter. Her eyes are like bluish green. So I'm just drawing two lines at the top and bottom. I'm going into the pupil a little bit, but you're going to do that and we're just going to have to clean it up at the end. So there's her beautiful green eyes. Love how the color turned out. Am I right, ladies? Okay. Um, and what am I doing now? Oh, now I'm doing like the little like tear duct part of the eye. I don't know what to call it. I'm just doing it some like random like reddish pinkish colors, just kind of making it look as realistic as possible. So now you can see I'm taking that lightest pinky color and I'm making it, oh, made it too big, a little bit smaller there. There we go, Taylor. Okay. I'm going to be dragging that color all across the eye to kind of make like the water line. Okay. So there we are doing that. And I'm going to do it a couple times because I just can't get it right. But it looks like that time I did. And that little part, if you want to fill it in, just press and hold. And you can fill it in easily without having to redo it. Uh, and I'm just, you know, cleaning up the little edges up there. And that's how we're doing the waterline. Next thing I'm doing is like the eyeliner or like the top part 
like the lash line that's what it's called so I'm taking the black color same as the pupil and I'm again just drawing a line across the top of the eye I'm kind of you know drawing over all of my imperfections right there that I did before Okay, so right now I am color matching the color of her skin and coloring that in and then I'm going to take a slightly darker color and put that right under the eye, obviously because underneath your eye is darker than the rest of your skin. You want to add that dimension. It's all about the dimension with these details, okay? The dimension, the depth, okay? Making it look as realistic as possible. Alrighty, next thing we're doing is taking that same color and putting it above that black uh, lash line that we just did. So I'm just filling that in with um, her skin tone, fixing up all the edges. A lot of this you'll have to go back and fix it, color over it. Like it takes a lot of tweaking to get all these little details right, at least for me. Maybe if you're a professional, not so much, but for me, I definitely need to go back and like fix things like 10 times. But that's just part of the process. So that's what I'm doing right now. So now I'm coloring in the rest of her eyelid with that darker tan color that we did and I'm remembering where her little eyelid like creases are. She doesn't have many eyelid creases but I'm keeping those in mind as I'm coloring over them. So now I'm taking my tapered brush going to take that color make it a little bit darker and mess around and try to make those creases look as realistic as possible. You could mess around with the colors, the thickness of the brush, the taperedness of the brush. I kind of had to do it a couple times to get it right. And we are going to do eyelashes now. So I'm taking my tapered brush, taking that black color that's on the lash line. And as you can see, I'm kind of going, I don't know, you can kind of see the shape I'm doing. I'm kind of drawing it over the white part of the eye. I don't know, that's how I like to do it. I think it looks more realistic. And for the eyelashes, I like to do them like different lengths, different ways that they're curving in and out, um, different widths between the eyelashes just to make them look as realistic as possible as you can see here. Um, I like to do the ones that are on the outer eye curved in. I don't know. Does that make any sense? You can see what I'm doing. Like the ones on the inner eye, I'm curving towards the center. The ones on the outer eye, I'm curving towards the center. Okay, I don't know if that made any sense, but um, it's hard to explain, but you can see what I'm doing. So I guess I'll just stop talking and you can just watch. I actually hate how the eyelashes turned out and I ended up fixing them later in the video but right now I'm taking my tapered brush with that darker color under the eye and just adding like some slight like wrinkles like creases under the eye. I don't really have any specific order that I do this stuff in but I guess right now I'm doing the eye color so I'm just um color matching the eye color, doing a little bit of a lighter shade, taking my normal brush, the round tip brush, and as you can see, I'm just adding a little bit of dimension to the eyes. So we're going to, on the outer part of the eye, it's going to be like the darkest, and then we're going to get lighter green as we go in. And now I'm just taking an even lighter green color and doing that again in the middle. You can use as many different like shades as you like. Go for it. Use 10 different shades of green. Like go at it. But I'm just doing three. <laughs> And now I'm taking my tapered brush, taking that lightest green color, and I'm just adding even more details to the eye. I'm just, as you can see, kind of striping little lines through the eye. Um, and then I'm going to do that as well with the darker green color, kind of take that darker green into the lighter green. So instead of me struggling to try to explain this in a voiceover, I'm just going to let you guys watch it yourselves because that'll probably be more helpful than listening to me ramble and get confused. So enjoy. <laughs>
Okay, so as you can tell, I went on to like the pupil and the lash line a little bit. So I'm just taking my black marker and just fixing that up real quick. No big deal. Now I'm just coloring in the rest of her eyelid and I'm going to add some highlight. As you can see where the natural highlight is on her eyelid, I'm just going to color match, take a little bit of a lighter shade and kind of try to mimic that highlight just to make it more realistic. I feel like I keep saying that, but like that's the goal. Now I'm just going through and making a bunch of just like last minute final adjustments, final touches, whatever you'd like to call it. So I'm just kind of speeding through this. Here's when I realized that I hated the eyelashes, so I'm just kind of fixing them up a bit. Um, there's many different styles of eyelashes that you can do. I like big eyelashes, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and what I'm adjusting here is I'm just making the eyelashes longer on the outer corner, and then they're going to gradually get smaller as they go to the inner corner. And now this clip is when I realized that I forgot to do uh, bottom lashes. So I am just taking again my black tapered pen, really small, and I'm going to draw like a little black like eyeliner little thingy or lash line. That's what it's called. I keep calling it eyeliner. It's a lash line. I'm drawing a black lash line and then I'm going to go in and obviously draw eyelashes and I have a little technique that I like to use. I don't know where I learned. It. I learned it from someone but I will show you guys that technique for the bottom eyelashes. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing like two little things that connect. So you know how you like your eyelashes clump together on the bottom? That's kind of what I'm mimicking. That good little clumpy texture okay so that's what i do for the bottom eyelashes in my opinion it just makes them look more realistic again do whatever you want girl these are just my tips so i'm doing that again connecting the two little tapered lines and then filling them in so i'll just let you watch me do that All right, ladies and gents, listen up. This is a game changer. So I'm taking my tapered brush, taking the black color, putting the opacity down to about 10, okay? Making that brush just a little bit bigger. I'm going from one corner. Did you just see me do that? I went from one corner to the other, and I'm going to do it again. Don't worry, because I messed it up. But I'm drawing a line right under the lash line as like a little shadow. See, so watch it, watch it. Changes the whole game. Look at, look how much more realistic that looks. Oh my God, I just learned this and I'm just like shook. All right, last clip. I'm just adding in some final details. I'm adding a little bit more highlight on the inner corner of her eye. I'm gonna add some more shading on the crease. Is that what I'm doing right now? Yes, I'm taking my tapered brush and just adding, I'm turning the opacity down and just adding a little bit of a nice little shading detail on her eyelid right there. Beautiful, so I'll just let you guys watch me do the final touches.
Okay, y'all, that's it for the eye tutorial. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you learned like 10 things. I hope that this video is very helpful for you guys. And if you do any recreations, try it out, have questions, send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations. I would love to answer questions. I would love to just talk to you guys. So send me a DM on Instagram, follow me on there for tons of content, behind the scenes stuff on my stories. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, you can subscribe, check out my other tutorials to learn some more stuff. I will just see you guys in my next tutorial or video. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.